The Wabash Valley's most watched newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe. Good morning, everyone. A pretty busy day in the Storm Team 10 Weather Center last night as we tracked severe weather as a pretty potent low pressure system moved through. These are going to be your storm reports from the past 24 hours. And as we talked yesterday, that main concern was going to be the threat for some damaging wind gusts. And that's what most of these reports are. Here in Terre Haute, we had a wind gust that was measured, wind damage other. Wind gust that was measured at an excess of 65 miles per hour. Wind damage reported near Tip City. Other than that, we head up to just to the north of Paris. There were a 70 mile per hour wind gust was reported. Some wind damage reports and even closer to the Effingham area near Shumway, Illinois. A tornado brief touchdown was reported. Of course, the National Weather Service will be out surveying that storm damage today and we'll get you more official reports as the day progresses. Well, now that, that severe weather is gone, we're still dealing with some very strong winds on the back side of that system. That's why a wind advisory remains in effect through 7 o'clock. This evening, very gusty winds in excess of 45 miles per hour will be possible throughout the day. And outside right now, we have a 23 mile per hour wind gust in Mattoon, 29 in Paris, 23 here in Terre Haute. Again, those winds set to pick up as soon as we see the sun come up as well. In addition to the winds, we're dealing with some rain showers that have left over some rain out there on the ground, and that is definitely starting to lift those river levels. A flood warning ongoing throughout the valley along all of those major rivers could see them flooding their banks and of course mix the rain from yesterday with the snow melt. That was an additional one to two inches of liquid that we're adding to those rainfall totals to just take those rivers up. So of course another set of numbers that we'll definitely be paying close attention to not going to add any rain to those rivers and as far as what's happening with our flooding concerns, but we are looking at some snow showers. Yeah, temperatures have really fallen off on the backside of that cold front, and that's why we're seeing some of these very light scattered flurries, mainly north of I-70. Not looking at any accumulation with that, but if you see some flurries flying around, it's definitely going to be possible during the first part of the day. Temperature wise, we are looking at that colder air loft that's producing that snow at the surface. It's 36 in Paris, 37 in Mattoon, 36 here in Terre Haute, 39 down in Robinson temperature tracker shows us once again. We're not going to cool off all too much for the afternoon hours, but definitely going to be cooler than yesterday. It was just unseasonably warm, kind of weird out there with those daytime highs back into the 60s. We get back to about 38 by noon, 43 at 2 p.m. Daytime high temperature topping under 46, which is actually pretty seasonal where we should be for this time of year. Now there's where that cold front is located right now. It continued to move through the Wabash Valley through central Indiana, now making its way out of the Ohio area closer to the eastern seaboard, wrapping around some moisture on the back side of that system and some cooler air in place. That's bringing the snow showers across northern portions of Illinois and some light scattered flurries possible, especially across the northern portions of the valley this morning. So here's future cast beginning at 8 a.m. Again, we could see some of those light flurries during the early morning hours today, but quickly those skies clear out, turning mostly sunny, but just staying on the very windy side with 45 mile per hour wind gusts out of the southwest possible. So in your day planner, again, starting off with a chance for a few light flurries, but really clearing things out, sunshine returning with those temperatures into the mid 40s this afternoon. During the overnight tonight, those skies stay well, for the most part mostly clear. The winds certainly start to die off a bit, leading between 10 and 15 miles per hour out of the southwest. Temperatures falling back into the lower 30s by Saturday morning. We stay mainly dry during the day on Saturday, but a weak system could bring some very light snow showers in, mainly after that 5 to 7 o'clock hour range. Light snow showers will be possible through Saturday evening, putting us into Sunday morning. But at this point, doesn't look like there's a lot of moisture with that system, so snowfall, as far as measurable snowfall, does look to be extremely minimal perhaps up to at half an inch at most. So for today, again, light flurries out there this morning, clearing and just windy out there. Very strong wind gust highs in the mid 40s. We'll drop back to 32 as those winds calm down through the overnight. Still seasonal as we head through the day tomorrow. Temperature wise, we get back to about 48 with a partly sunny sky. Then that chance for some light snow moves in during the second half of the day on Saturday through Sunday morning and looking ahead of next week, a cold snap. Those temperatures that were warm this week, they are gone. Daytime highs back into the 30s and even the 20s by midweek next week.